One mutation, two evolutionary changes. The millions of species that inhabit our planet display various biological traits that enable them to live successfully in their ecological niches. Determining how these traits have evolved is fundamental to understanding biodiversity and the specificity of each species. For example, we humans, when compared to our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees, have bigger brains, a sophisticated language, longer hair on our heads, and fewer hairs on our body. To understand what makes us what we are as human beings or as individuals, it's important to explore the origins of our traits. Observable differences between species are due to mutations that accumulated in the DNA over multiple generations. Some of these mutations have no visible effects, while others led to visible modifications of our brain or the way we speak. It's commonly thought that each species-specific trait evolved independently through independent mutations. However, it is unclear whether several traits might co-evolve all at once due to a single mutation in the DNA. As it is difficult to explore such a question in humans and chimpanzees, we decided to turn to two closely related species of fruit flies, Drosophila yacuba and Drosophila santomea. Both species live in Africa, and they coexist on the island of Sao Tome, off the coast of West Africa. They diverged about a million years ago, and their DNA sequence is extremely similar, and they can produce hybrids in the lab. Now, Drosophila yacoba and other species have two sensory bristles on a particular region of their genitals, whereas Drosophila centomea has none. On the other hand, Drosophila centomea has more sensory bristles on their forelegs than does Drosophila yacoba. Both types of bristles are found only in males and appear to be used to grasp the female during copulation. Well, we set up to examine whether the loss of bristles on the genitalia and the gain of bristles on the legs could have originated through a single mutational event during evolution. Using QTL mapping and advanced genetic mapping, we found that the loss of genital bristles is caused by mutations clustering around a particular gene called SCUT, which is very important for bristle development in insects. Without this gene, no bristles form, and when the gene is overexpressed, extra bristles form. In Drosophila yacuba, the SCUT gene is highly expressed in the developing genitals, so that two bristles are formed, and also in the developing forelegs, so that eight or nine bristles are produced. Well, we tested the effect of our candidate mutations in Drosophila melanogaster, and we found one particular mutation that's very interesting. This mutation changes a single letter in the DNA. It causes the gene SCUT to be expressed at a lower level in Drosophila santomea compared to Drosophila yacoba, and thus no genital bristles are formed. The mutation disrupts a binding site for the transcriptional activator abdominal B, thus decreasing SCUT expression. This same mutation increases expression of SCUT in the developing foreleg, probably by altering the binding of a different transcription factor, thus leading to extra leg bristles in Drosophila santomea compared to Drosophila yacoba. In conclusion, we identified a single letter change in the DNA, which occurred during the evolution of Drosophila santomea, and this mutation contributed to both a loss of genital bristles and a gain of leg bristles. It's important to note that the effect of this mutation is small, and other mutations also contribute to the changes in leg and genital bristle number. Thus, our study shows that several traits can co-evolve all at once due to one mutation of a single letter in the DNA. The various traits that make us human may not have appeared individually, one by one, during our evolution. It is possible that some of our species-specific traits are just byproducts of mutations that evolved for other reasons. The origin of our human characteristics remains a big puzzle for the 21st century, and evolutionary studies such as ours 
are slowly assembling the pieces together to help us understand where we come from.